Would you like to create a seaside garden? Well, I'm here in Whitstable on the Kent coast in South East England, where once a year around the 10th of June, about a dozen private gardens open to the public. And I'm going to give you a bit of a preview of those gardens and an idea of what you might see if you came, but also a little trip round Whitstable to see what the essential ingredients of a seaside garden are so that you can take it back and create it in your own garden if that's what you'd love to do. Otherwise, just enjoy the idea we're here at the beach. It's Alexandra from the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel with tips ideas and inspiration for your garden. Firstly, think about echoing the architectural and natural elements of the seaside area you're inspired by. In Whitstable, this is black weather-boarded fishermen's huts, oyster shells, weathered oak from the breakwaters, seagulls and big open skies. Look out for local brick, clay and tile too, and think about whether yours is a brightly coloured seaside, such as the Caribbean, or maybe in a different way, Margate, or whether your sea tones are soft shades of green, grey and gull's egg blue. Many of the historic cottages in Whitstable are painted white, and this is always a good beach garden colour. This garden in Clare Road is part of Whitstable Open Gardens, and the owners have painted everything, their shed, fence, storage units and so on in white, which is a really clever way of making quite standard units look special. Blue is of course very much a seaside colour and I saw lots of lovely blue window boxes along the beach at Whitstable. Shacks and sheds are very important on beaches and in Britain the beach hut is an architectural speciality of its own. In itself a beach hut can just be a standard shed but people paint it in a variety of colours and add all sorts of decorative and homely touches so do this for your shed too in your garden. There's very little soil on a beach, so most things will have to be grown in pots, window boxes or containers, and recycled containers have a nicely shipwrecked feel. If you want to grow vegetables, you'll need raised beds, so these can be considered beach gardening too. Plants themselves have to be resilient as they faint face wind, salt water and poor or no soil. Look for wild versions of our garden flowers such as wild mallow or wild salsify and of course erigeron are actually called seaside daisies in some parts of the world. Fennel, rosemary, grasses and poppies do well too and large leaved plants like cranberry and they all grow directly out of the shingle. You don't have beds in seaside gardens. And seaside gardens don't have lawn although they may have clumps of grasses. Whitstable beaches are shingly with wild flowers growing straight out of the ground and you can buy different shades of gravel for your beach garden so do think about what look you want before ordering. Or you can buy shingle or even cockle shells which are a by-product of the shellfish industry so at least they're not mined. I've done a post and video about cockle shell paths and there'll be a link to this in the description below. All sorts of things wash up on a shore, so create a beachcomber feel about your seaside garden with recycled and vintage items or souvenirs. Shells, netting and anything you could have made yourself while idling on a hot day is also beach gardening. Seaside communities have often been poor, so there's a great sense of resourcefulness. Artists have also been very attracted to the light of the coast, so artistic quirkiness is another beach element. It's very seaside garden, for example, to use up scraps of brick, stone or tile or sea glass, like these clever paths in a pretty garden in Whitstable. Stroll along the beach in Whitstable or in many other British seaside towns and you'll see a wonderful variety of beach gardens, usually with places to sit where you can watch the changing light and the sunset. Seaside garden furniture usually has to be put away in winter because of the weather, so it'll be collapsible or it will need to be cut from sturdy oak or rock. I hope you enjoy creating your seaside garden or dreaming about creating it and if you love beach gardens please do hit like and I'll look out for more to feature on the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel and if you haven't subscribed please do we upload garden tips ideas and inspiration every Saturday. 